stakeholders anxiously awaited the minister's arrival. This because the mining sector is at a crossroads. Production costs are on the rise and global commodity prices have plummeted and the sector is bleeding jobs. The minister said he called the urgent meeting to have a frank and robust conversation about what all stakeholders can do to save jobs in the sector. He said government needs to do more to ensure harmonization among departments. An example in place which I'll be giving to the meeting has to do with 10 licenses that are supplying electricity, coal to ESCOM that have been suspended in recent weeks. Now, <clears throat> and that was not consulted. On the basis that uh, these mines do not have water licenses. Now, if government um, wants to take an action such as that, you want to consult the department that is directly <coughs> affected and say, I want you to remedy the situation. The minister also said he was open to a better, less disruptive approach in dealing with mine safety. When an accident occurs in the mines, sometimes the mine inspector will invoke a section of an act and close down the mine. This results in material costs for mining houses. The Chamber of Mines welcomed the emergency meeting despite the short notice. Well, as we know that the minister has called this meeting today uh, to discuss the job losses that the mining industry is facing. We know that the mining industry, we don't do this deliberately. We're not saying we want to retrench employees. The markets are tough, con trading conditions are difficult, the prices are not where they used to be, it's difficult. And we feel that coming together with the minister today, though at, sh at short notice, but we will contribute, we'll listen, we'll come up with ideas, hopefully, on how to approach these tough market conditions and what government will wish to do to support the mining industry and how do we come to the party. The NUM says some 25,000 of its members have been affected by retrenchment this year alone. Out of this meeting, government will understand uh, the grievances of the labour movement. He will understand uh, the position of uh, the companies. Uh, we will be able to uh, bring about all ideas, constructive ideas, and uh, take it uh, is a constructive solution to the crisis that uh, is hitting the mining industry. AMCU, which recently rejected gold employers' wage offers, was also in attendance. We are here to hear the minister, what is the minister try is all about. But if the minister will say, let's lower our demand, uh, I think that is far-fetched. And what's your expectation beyond that? The expectation is to tell this capitalist that it's the right time to pay back what they owe their workers, in particular black mine workers. Minister Ramathodi made it plain that it was his expectation that those attending the meeting, including government, don't leave without making some commitment to saving jobs. The meeting is expected to continue tomorrow. Non-Pamela Losiziba, SABC News, Johannesburg.